Uh, this Biden-Harris White House regime, they never miss an opportunity to stir the racial pot and foment. Uh, again, this is what they do. This is what communists and Marxists do. They divide the classes. They divide the races. They divide the American people. Uh, this whole, uh, again, mirage, and that's what it is, about uniting us is just, it's just words. It's just propaganda. It's like uh, CNN dreamt it up. Uh, or something. Here is Jen Saki Puppet. She's talking about vaccine hesitancy. And allegedly, there's great hesitancy in red states, among conservatives, among white folk, leaving out the fact that a lot of black folk don't want it either. Okay? And of course, the J&J thing now is not going to help. But listen to what she says about targeting white conservative communities with vaccine PSAs. Also investing $3 billion to states and community-based organizations to th strengthen vaccine confidence in the highest risk and hardest hit communities. And often people uh, think of that as just black and brown communities, and that is not. As you've noted, that is also conservative communities, white evangelicals. It's a range of communities around the country. What we found to be most effective is to work with these local organizations. So faith-based organizations, community health organizations, civic leaders and others who can really get this message deeply uh, in communities. We've also had a number of our um, members of our COVID team from Dr. Fauci and, uh, for, and Dr. Collins uh, participate, as an example, participate in a range of media interviews. You know, an example is Dr. Collins participated in the 700 Club. Dr. Nunez-Smith hosted a Faith Leaders Roundtable. Uh, we're also looking for, we've run PSAs on the Deadliest Catch. We're engaged with NASCAR and Country Music TV. We're looking for a range of creative ways to get directly connected to white conservative communities. We won't always be the best messengers, but we're still trying to meet people where they are, but also empower local organizations. With travel beginning to resume, the Hilton Garden Inn, located in Owings Mills, wants you to know they have their clean stay program utilizing all social distancing with all areas of the hotel disinfected. 410-654-0030. 410-654-0030. All you redneck deplorables, all you hillbillies, all you white conservative evangelical faith-based dudes and dudettes, uh, we gonna, we're going to convince you to get a vaccine because you watch Diddliest Catch, NASCAR, Country Music TV, and, you know, praise the Lord, the 700 Club. Wow. Can you imagine if the Trump administration had done that in any way, shape, or form targeting the black community? Speaking of which, Cacklin Kamala, day 20 of no visit to the border. Uh, she then uh, yesterday had a meeting of, a, of black women talking about systemic racial inequities. This week is Black Maternal Health Week. And make no mistake, black women in our country are facing a maternal health crisis. Black women are two to three times more likely to die in connection with childbirth than other women. And it is important to note that Native women are 2.3 times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes than white women. We know the primary reasons why. Systemic racial inequities and implicit bias. And the consequences are both very real. Many of the women in this room have experienced them firsthand, and as the ambassador said, we will hear their stories, which they speak with great courage, given the pain that they have experienced. Translation, white people. White people are the reason why black pregnant women are having, uh, are more likely to die in connection with childbirth. That it, This is just, this is hate speech. This is evil. Uh, again, we're all concerned about any pregnant woman, black, white, or doesn't matter. But she, what she fails to point out is that not a word, not a single word about health problems that black women may have entering pregnancy. For instance, a lot of black women might be overweight or obese or suffer from diabetes, which increases the chance of having a heart attack or stroke or preeclampsia or any one of the conditions that could complicate a pregnancy. They're not looking into that. It's again, it's systemic racial inequities and implicit bias. That's why black pregnant women are more likely to die. Outrageous.